Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you how you can quickly and easily calculate straight line depreciation and global declining depreciation using formulas that are in Excel. Here you can see to the right are formulas that are from uh, are from graphic that I didn't personally make where here you can see the link um, source below. Also will be in the description, but as, as you can see straight line depreciation is the asset cost minus the digital value over the useful life and remains constant throughout the entire life of the asset. The double declining method, however, is two times the asset cost minus the residual value or the useful life. And because it is an accelerated depreciation method, the depreciation expense changes every year and is greater in the earlier, earlier years and less in the later years. So the SLN function only has three arguments. And the reason why is because the depreciation amount remains constant for every single year. So SLN, open parentheses, the first argument is cost of the asset. With this situation, is five thousand dollars. Next is the salvage value of the asset. And third is the lifespan of the assets and in years. So, and close parentheses. As you can see, it's two hundred dollars. And because it remains constant for every year, um, it remains constant for every single period. And as a note, um, one thing that I'm doing is I'm doing F2 and then um, doing this just to lock in the cells. So, control C, shift down arrow, control V. And as you can see, it remains constant throughout every single year. The double declining method, however, is a little bit different because it changes every single year. So, DDB, open parentheses, first argument is the cost of the asset. The second argument is a salvage, and the third is a life. However, the fourth argument is the period. So what period do you want to calculate the depreciation in? So here we, in this example, we have an asset with a life of 15 years. And let's just say we wanted to calculate it for the first year, it would be year one. And then the factor is the depreciation they want to multiply it by. It's the double declining method, so it defaults to be 2. So the factor right here defaults to be 2 and is an optional argument. So you, you do not need it for the function to work as indicated by how the function is in brackets. Um, it defaults to be 2, but if you want it to be different, then you can type in 1.5, for example. Um, but we're going to use the default to this situation. Close parentheses, as you can see, double declining with method leads to a larger depreciation expense and a lower net income in the first year. So we're going to lock in the formulas right here. And we're going to leave not lock this in one because we want to drag it down. So control C, shift, down arrow, control V. And as you can see, the straight line method has a depreciation expense that remains constant throughout the entire year, lifespan of the asset. However, a double declining method has a depreciation expense that is much greater at the start and then proceeds to be lower as the asset chain. So, now let's just say you wanted it to be monthly instead of annual. What you can do in that situation for the straight line is, is to multiply the life of the asset by 12. So here we have 15 years and as you can see, in any given month, the depreciation expense is now 12. I just say for the first 10 periods instead of the first 10 years. Similar for the straight double declining depreciation method for the life, you can multiply this factor by 12 as well. So times 12, control C, control V. Now here you see the depreciation for the first 10 periods of the first 10 months as opposed to the first um, 10 years as it was multiplied by 12. As you can see, it, um, it's depreciation in the second in the second month, then the fifth, so on and so forth. I'm gonna convert this back to be annual. And then this by getting rid of the 12, control C shift, control down arrow, control V. And then I just say now with double declining to kind of show you how it would be different if we, if we change the factor to be, let's just say, five instead, just for fun. You can see the factor is five. 
depreciation is much, much, much faster than if it was the default of 2. However, depreciation was 1.1. Depreciation is much slower. And if the depreciation is just 1, it is slower still. So, going back to the default of 2. So, with that said, I um, hope that you found this to be useful. And just kind of show an interesting note, making a graph real quick just for fun. Um, insert, unchart. And here you can see are these depreciation expenses for every single year. So, it's kind of a rough graph, but as you can see, double declining goes down, straight line remains constant. Um, Kind of random. But with that said, I hope you found this quick tutorial to be helpful. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in future videos. And please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And check out the links in the description. It's a free stock. Thank you so much for watching. And it really helped that you have an awesome day.